All right, Luveris. Probably one of my biggest motivators for doing this is Luveris, and any of you who have done Luveris um, know that it's, you know, otherwise a basically simple drug, but it can just cause some headaches for patients. So I wanna make sure I take the time to make you comfortable with Luveris. Now, uh, Luveris is pure luteinizing hormone. It's usually a supplement to Gonalef or Folistim. Um, how the docs dose it out to you varies. Some docs do it full strain. Some docs do it half dose. You might only do a half a vial a night. Some uh, docs will have you do one vial every other night. So there's gonna be a couple of different ways this is gonna be done. Um, even mixing a simple vial of it, gonna sometimes see different instructions. Remember, your clinic's gonna have their own medication instructions in writing on this website. So you certainly can always get clarification about, well, I wonder if my doctor does Luveris a little bit different. I'm gonna show you basically one of two ways to do Luveris, and that is simply one, to take it as a full vial, or two, to take it as a half a vial. Now, I'll do the whole vial first, that's easiest. Now, Luveris is gonna come in this, one of these little clear plastic sleeves. Gonna open it up, and it's a, it's a powder and water situation, so we just have to mix together the powder and water. There's our water, and that's one milliliter of water, says so right there on the vial. And here's our little powder. Now, of course, these little lids just flip right off, and they have little tiny rubber stoppers right underneath them. Now, again, a couple of different ways you can always do the same thing, right? Uh, this is generally what I do. I'll prescribe three ml syringes with big, ugly needles just because it makes it easier to do the whole mixing thing. And then of course, I'll also prescribe a little smaller 27 gauge half inch needle to actually do the injection. Now, sometimes your nurse might order you one mil syringes with big ugly needles, that works too. I mentioned a minute ago that this is one milliliter of water. So what we have to do is I have to pull one milliliter of water out and inject it into my powder. So again, I've got my big needle on there just to make things easy. Of course, I'll always get my little alcohol there and clean that rubber stopper off. And basically, I'm just gonna empty this vial. I'll put my needle right in there. I gotta turn it upside down, of course. And I'm gonna do that little trick where I keep pulling down on my needle. And I'm just gonna, a couple of different ways to do this. Take your time and just keep pulling down. And see, as I pull down the water, I gotta keep pulling down the needle too. And I just keep drawing it. So I just gotta get all that water out. Now I'm not worried about injecting air into this vial or anything like that. All I wanna do is just get this water out. And I'm not gonna get that little last drop, that's fine. All right, now I've got a bunch of air in there as well. So I'll get this, get it. So I'm just got, there's my one mil of water right there, ready to go. Now I'm gonna inject this one mil of water right into my Luveris powder. There we go, and just Inject it all in there. Shoot it all in there. Now here's my trick. Once I inject the water, I leave the needle right there. You see that syringe is filling back up with air because that's the air that was in there that now the one mil of water is taking its place. I mentioned this earlier on another medication that if you, if you don't do that, what you do is you cause a lot of pressure in here. So when you go to try to take medication out later, you notice you get a bunch of medication spritzing out the hole there, and then usually you're worried you've lost a bunch of medication, and then usually at about 10 o'clock at night, I get a phone call with you telling me that. So I don't want you to worry about it. And so that's my little trick, is I just let it pressurize. And it's just, you see there, it's just dissolving up. Give it a second, swirl it around. You don't need to shake these things vigorously. So now, go ahead and get that air right out of there. So there's my one mil of mixture now. Now, for those of you who are doing one vial of Luveris, well, you're good to go. Go ahead with the same big needle. And again, could be a three mil, could be a one mil, doesn't matter. You're just gonna empty that vial. Draw all the medication out. Easy enough. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you for those of you who only do a half a vial, or you might see it on your calendar, it'll say 0 0.5 vial every evening. Well, 
good enough. I put one mil of water in there, so I now have one mil of mixture. If my dose is half of that, then I only want to withdraw out a half a mil of the mixture, leaving behind the other half mil of mixture in the vial for tomorrow night. So again, with the big needle, because it makes things easy, take my little alcohol just to be careful, clean that off, put my needle right in there. Now I get no big spritzing because I let it pressurize earlier. Turn it over, make sure you're keeping your needle tip in the water, just pull down so I can see it there. And I'm just gonna pull down on that plunger. Now I usually try to get more out. And then I'm just gonna push up. There we go. Now I have pulled out a half a mil of the mixture, left behind the other half a mil of the mixture right there in the vial. Now this is going right into the fridge because I've opened it and mixed it. I'm gonna put that away for tomorrow night. Now there, here's tonight's dose right here. Now, of course, you're not gonna forget to change that needle, right? So I'm gonna just always pull down on the plunger, get all the medicine into the syringe. Careful, just unscrew this big needle. What you've been ordered there in your medications is a much friendlier 27 gauge half inch. This is a little sub Q needle. And this will just screw right on there. Of course, I want to prime that, get that medication right up to that needle tip. So I'll just real careful. Now, you're going to see little air bubbles in there. I don't want you to think these little air bubbles are ever going to hurt you. You could spend all day and you could waste a lot of medication fighting over little air bubbles. If you see some, you can snap and get up to the top. Great. Otherwise, don't stress about it. So like I said, I'm going to get to where I know I prime my needle and there it is. Now there's always overfill. Even just priming my needle there, you saw that some medication shot out of there that was in the needle. That's okay. That's all fine. That isn't anything that's measurable. I don't want you to think you need to open a new Luveris or do anything like that. This shot is ready to go for your subcutaneous shot. Now it's tomorrow night. Don't need to mix a Luveris when you're doing a half a vial type thing. You're just gonna to go to the fridge, get your vial that's been in the fridge. I might take it out about half hour early so it's not so cold for you. I'm gonna go ahead and open myself up, just another big 3ml syringe with a big needle, and the next night I'm just gonna simply empty this vial out, just withdraw all of it out. Get as much out as you can. Now, you're gonna think, well, that next night I should get a half a mil out, no problem. I mean, it was a half a mil the first night, it should be a half a mil the next night. It won't be. You do your best to empty the vial, but you can't get every last drop. Water sticks to the inside of the glass. I will tell you this on the next night, it is going to be less than a half a mil a mixture. Perfectly fine. Whatever you get out, you're splitting the vial over two nights and that's all we want you to do. So whatever you get out that next night is what you get out. Put your little short needle on and do your other half of Luveris. Now, like I said, some docs will have you do a whole vial, some will do it every other. Either way, that's how you're mixing Luveris, and if you have to split it, that's how you're splitting it. That's it.